Kia ora Ko Fraser, ko Fraser toko ingoa. Kia ora tato, ko Alex McCall toko ingoa. And uh, we may look a little bit similar, so uh, just to clarify that in the room, you will often find Fraser wearing a backwards cap. And uh, <laughs> he will be giving the most high fives in the office. And just to clarify who Alex is, he's the one running around barefoot in the office and often showing up at bank meetings with his skateboard. Gilda. The day before my very first corporate job, my only corporate job, my best friend in the entire world died. There were no warnings, no goodbyes. He was gone. I was 23 years old and suddenly the suit that I'd been looking forward to putting on felt ridiculous. This woke me up. Walking into the corporate world, I questioned everything. I had to have reason behind what I was doing. I had to know why I was doing it. I had to have purpose. I quickly realized that the corporate job wasn't for me. I got together with some engineers from university and I decided to start a project. Yet this project wasn't going to be about the success that we might receive and it certainly wasn't going to be about the money. It had to be for the bigger picture of Aotearoa. 80% of our bird species, our native birds, are threatened with extinction. The truth is that when these species become extinct, they don't get a second chance. 25 million native birds die every year from introduced predators such as rats, stoats, and possums. This is the greatest challenge that our native birds face. This is not something that we can leave up to a handful of large organizations or small community groups. This is something that will take an entire nation to help solve. So we asked the question, how can we help, how can we save as many birds as possible while engaging as many New Zealanders as possible? From this, Squawk, Squawk Squad was born, a web app that allows anyone to sponsor a trap towards a conservation project. When your trap catches something, it sends you a live notification letting you know that you've trapped a pest. This means that anyone across Aotearoa, anyone across the world, can actually take part in a predator-free New Zealand and help save our native birds. This was my vehicle for purpose. Squawkswood is now across three conservation projects nationwide, and we're currently funding our fourth at a local wider wrapper, Pukaha Mount Bruce. Now, we decided that this wasn't something that we needed to market for. So we created a digital education pack for Conservation Week 2017. We uh, had the aim of every single New Zealand kid taking their learnings back to their whānau and their friends so that we could educate a nation. We released the pack and we thought we might get a couple thousand signups. In three weeks, we had 40,000 signups. We only topped this in 2018 by giving 25,000 New Zealand kids Google Cardboard VR headsets so that they could experience the crisis our native birds were in through a virtual reality story. In terms of numbers, in three weeks, we achieved what the Department of Conservation had been trying to achieve for 10 years. <laughs> educating, educating the nation is just the beginning. The real impact comes when we give our tamariki, our children, the power to take action. They are the ones that will be here at 2050, and they are the future kaitiaki. Kia ora. Now our journey together started when we met at university, at the University of Canterbury in 2011. On our second day of university, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck and it decimated the city of Christchurch. 
Yet what that did is it bonded our year group stronger than ever before. And I was fascinated to learn that the dome that we've spent a lot of time bonding in at Araha Valley was actually the emergency response hub for the entire earthquake recovery effort. I studied engineering geology at the University of Canterbury and this took me around the world. Working on gold exploration projects in the Amazon jungle, aluminium mines in Australia. And returning to New Zealand, I worked for an explosives company. I was literally blowing rocks up every single day of the week. The most destructive job you could possibly dream of. And I reflected on this and understood that I wasn't working with purpose. And so I quit my job. Now shortly after this, myself and Fraser, we realized that to really work with purpose, we couldn't fake it in the way we were living. So we picked up our anchor from Auckland and we boarded a waka, a caravan called Coco. 40 years old and not a single drop of insulation in it, we headed to Wanaka for winter. <laughs> now, in working with purpose, we recognised that we could use tech for social good. In the blockchain world, there was huge amounts of investment. And so we asked ourselves, how could we take this technology and use it for social impact. We understand that 80% of our native birds are threatened with extinction. However, one in three Kiwi kids live below the income poverty line and we have the highest youth suicide rate in the developed world. On the other hand, half a billion dollars worth of electronic card transaction fees go offshore to multinational companies and overseas owned banks every single year. So to bridge this gap, we created Choice. Choice enables you to transact in, with your mobile phone instead of your card. And every single time that you pay with Choice, 50% of your transaction fee that would normally go offshore goes to a charity that you get to choose. So that every single time that you pay, you now pay with purpose. Earlier this year, we raised $1 million in non-equity funding from an offshore blockchain foundation. And I don't tell you this to impress you. I tell you this to understand that this is quite possibly the largest non-equity seed stage investment in any startup in all of Aotearoa, let alone a social enterprise making a difference to the world. This goes to show that purpose-driven businesses can receive investment and that the world is ready. Choice is now the only fintech in all of Aotearoa that has API access to payments infrastructure with one of the largest banks in the country. We can either decide for New Zealand, Aotearoa, to be a world leader in only advanced accounting software <laughs> or, to, <laughs> or together with a community of global leaders such as EHF, together with all of you sitting here in front of us, we can decide for Aotearoa to be a world leader in socially and environmentally impactful technology. Imagine a world in which purpose came before profit where people and planet were at the heart of our kaupapa, and that New Zealand led the rest of the world in doing so. This is the world that we see, and this is the world that we are committed to creating. Which do you choose? Kia ora. Kia ora.